So let's go with the question number two. So question number two says, now, rather than having something simple like this, now I'm going to give you something with a slope. I'm going to give you a slope of 3 fifths and a x-intercept equal to negative 10. All right, so again, what we want to do, Isabelina, is write y equals mx plus b. Do we know what b is now? No, because we're talking about x-intercepts, not y-intercepts, right? Um, but we do know the slope, so let's plug that in. y equals the slope. OK, now, do you guys remember when I said find the x-intercept, what did y equal? Zero. zero. So if I plug in 0, um, if I plug in 0 in for y and negative 10 in for x, can I now solve for b? Yeah. Yeah. And once I know what b is in slope, can I write the equation of the line? Yeah. yeah. 0 equals 3 fifths times negative 10 plus b. Then you, well, yeah, you solve. So 10 times 3 fifths, um, negative 10 times 3 is negative 30. Negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. OK, we'll work through it. So now you add the 6 to the other side, and you get 6 equals b. So now let's look at it. Do we know what slope is? Yes. Do we know what b is? Yes. So going back to that 30-second problem we did before, y equals 3 fifths x plus 6. Yes? OK. What'd you do? That's probably fine, too. I mean, I would just caution you. Just make sure you know how to do it algebraically, because you might get answer, or you might get um, a problem that might be hard to look at graphically. So as long as you understand this, and you can do it that way. But if that way makes sense, and you can do it that way, that's fine. But you are going to have to sh make sure you can show it to me how you're finding the solution to it. Yes? OK. So first of all, Jacob, do you understand how x intercept y equals 0? Do you remember that when we graphed it? Right, exactly. So therefore, I put 0 in for y, and I put negative 10 in for x. Now, most students get, for, get caught up on the fractions. How do you multiply 3 fifths times negative 10? Well, remember, you, gotta do it over one. Right, you put over 1, and you multiply across. What's negative 30 divided by 5? Uh, negative 6. That's where it came through. Uh, okay. All right? I'm adding 6. Oh, okay. I just got a really bad six. Is Blaine, I got it? Kind of? All right. We got to that one. Would it be negative six or negative six? Uh, negative six. Okay. 